Right, folks, um, as you can see, I'm red in the face. Now, please don't think that I am going to have a heart attack or anything like that. I have been driving my little forklift truck outside in the cold and it was fucking cold. So, please don't think that, I'm just a bit chapped in the face. And then we've been uh, out and Got about. Chap cheeks. Chap cheeks. <laughs> You know all about that, don't you, June? I do. Uh, anyway, uh, me and June have been out. I've took June up the Tesco's. Ah! You thought I was going to say I took her up the Asda. Not yet. A change is as good as a rest. Change is as good as a rest. Yes, we go. We do like a change, don't we, June? Eh? We do. Yes. Um, as Christmas is coming up, folks, and um, as you've probably noticed, I've been, we've been pushing the gin drinks. Gin is a up and coming. Well, it's not up and coming now. I think it's here, and it's people like it. Uh, June has taken into the gin, haven't you? I have, yeah. The mother's ruin, as yeah, we call it. Yeah, I hadn't it. used to like gin, or I thought I didn't like gin, but I think it was what I was mixing it with that I took objection to. Yes. I don't like it with tonic, but I do like it with lemonade, which you, you clown, haven't got. No, it's next door. Not round cameras. No, it's not round cameras. <laughs> um, so, as it is, folks, uh, a lot of people like gin. Um, the lady next door, she knows who she is. She likes gin, apparently. Um, June likes gin. Does Cheryl like gin? Cheryl, no. No, whiskey. Cheryl, no. Whiskey. Yeah, she, Cheryl's a whiskey drink. Uh, I'm a vodka drink. Uh. I'm a lager drink. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So anyway, let's, uh, let's crack on. Me and June have just uh, been up Tesco's. We wanted some dinner, so we got a pasta bacon. Very nice it was, too. Uh, I don't like to normally... Uh, Say things are nice from Tesco's. Well, think... we don't usually do ready meals, do we? But no, we don't. Believe uh, it or not. No, we normally cook from scratch. But, and, uh, uh, it was just a quickie tonight. So, uh, just a quickie. Mm. <laughs> Is there anything else? Um, so what it is, folks, um, we've got these gins. Um, we were walking around Tesco's and we saw this one, the Beef Eater London Blood Orange. Um, and, um, they actually had uh, a black currant one and... It was blackberry, wasn't it? Blackberry, blood orange, uh, strawberry? No. Something berry. Anyway, weren't Nick Berry? I bet nobody knows who Nick Berry is. Anyway, get on with it. Leave your comments below if you know who Nick Berry is. Every loser wins. Never mind about that. Get, get some juice. Um, so we've got the beef eater blood orange, uh, beef eater blood orange, uh, London blood orange. That cost me fourteen pounds, uh, and then I actually went to Sainsbury's the other day, and I picked up a blackberry gin, which is a good thing then, because I could I could have compared them, couldn't I, June? That's uh, a but... Whitley Neil uh, Nelly Nearly Neil Nearly uh, blackberry gin. Uh, we've got JJ Whitley. I uh, better put my glasses on. I can't read a. Yeah. Uh, it's a family distilleries and it's a raspberry vodka. <coughs> I think gin is how I pick that up. And then I've got Sip Smith's London, and this is a slow gin, so it goes by really, really slow. I wanted to make some slow gin this year. But yeah, we never got round to it, did we? Uh, well, I don't know whether I'd like it, but we'll see. Well, unless you make it, you don't know, do you? Oh, well. So what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to tuck in, sup in, and uh, sip, or glug, uh, the Beef Eater London Orange, uh, Blood Orange Gin. Let's get sloshed. Let's get sloshed. Right. That smells like gin and oranges. Believe it or not. I'll tell you what, you could wear that as a perfume. Would I? Have a sip of that, June. Or sniff it first. Don't get the aroma. What are you smelling? That taste, what's that um, liqueur? Uh, is it Tia Maria? Oh, no. Which is the orange one? Is it Tia Maria? Oh. I don't like that. Do you not? Well, let's, let's try with some uh, lemonade in it. Makes me nose fizz. Yeah? Mm. Well, don't pour it up there, then. Premium gin with a hint of blood orange. That's probably why. 
Because I do um, beef eaters gin. I do find to be very dry. Um, there's something about it. Um, what do you want in it, June? Lemonade. I don't like tonic. Fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah. It. more than enough. Does that remind? I'm sure it's Tia Maria that tasted oranges. I can't even remember what Tia Maria has. Is like. Do you want to put some ice, ice baby in it? Yes, please. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, I feel like Tom Cruise. You don't look like him. No, I don't want to be like him, to be fair. No. It's too short, isn't it? But yeah, it's not about Tom Cruise, he's a bit of a knob. Oh, that'd be a shame, wouldn't it? If Tom Cruise sits there watching me and then he just hears me calling him a knob. Get that down, you ginger, uh, June. Got bloody arse on me, gorilla. Mm. Disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. Told you we should have had the blackberry one. <laughs> Fuck unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, so, I'm June's, having one of your own. June's sitting there reading the Kindle. I'm not. I'm looking for that comment. Apparently, somebody says I look like the. That's all right now. The Cowardly Lion. I look and the like, Wizard of Oz. Apparently, I look like the Cowardly Lion, and the lion wasn't red, and he didn't wear. Did he wear glasses? No. And I'm sure the lion had more hair than me. He had a mane. Yeah. It tastes better with lemonade, but I'm still not impressed with it. No, I'm not. I'm not. That taste. I'm sure it's turmeric. Can't we dilute that down and give it somebody as a Christmas present? Yeah. Probably. Top it up with something. Just put some normal gin yeah, in it. Yeah, just put some normal gin in it. I think that'll be all right, because nobody watches my videos, so. Yeah, there's just something about it. That's... Mm. Yeah, I'm not yeah, It'll get that. drunk, it'll, it'll get drunk. We'll it'll get drunk. a trifle. In a trifle. Right, folks. Uh... Do you want a bit more of that, June? Right, we're going to move on. No, we're not going to do that. We're going to move on to the uh, Whitley Nell. Nell! It's got two L's in it. Nell. Isn't it? Right. Right, um, this is the uh, handcrafted gin. It's uh, the blackberry gin. Inspired by injury English hedgerows laden with blackberries in late summer. Uh, this gin has a vibrant and in... I can't read that gin. Oh, give it to you then. I can't see it. Inspired by English hedgerows laden that. with blackberries in late summer, this gin has a vibrant and intensely fruity taste of the summer favourite. What couldn't I read? I've no idea. Mm. Uh, right. It was... Yeah, you'll get was in a Dick. minute. Jane, pat the dog. Right. Ooh. It smells like an antifreeze. What's this one? Blackberry. Does that smell of antifreeze? I don't know, I've never sniffed antifreeze. Where you been? It's nice though. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Better than that bloody orange shite. Oh yeah. It's got a bit of lemonade and ice in it. It tastes like antifreeze as well. <laughs> Have you drunk antifreeze? Oh, ain't everybody. No. Mm -hmm. Tea and gin, that's all I drink. You got to sip it, didn't you? I mean, you got it's like the bottle that says "Do not drink," so you have to drink it. Who do you think you're, bloody Alice in Wonderland? No, but it's drink me. Yeah. Eat me. Done that before. Shush. Right, it's black currant, blackberry. So Jeff, not George it? Berry, um, but it's clear. Yeah, that's good, June. 
Don't you want to drink that last of it? Right. Yeah, that's better. I it still, is. I still prefer the rhubarb. I love the rhubarb one. I think I'm saying I'm a, I'd like a light gin, but I think I just like rhubarb gin. Just likes the rhubarb gin. Yeah. So, uh, right, then, let's move on to the uh, Sips Smith London Slow Gin. Why is there a swan on there? Don't know. Um, handcrafted in the first copper distillery in London for 200 years. Please sip responsibly. It's all responsible now, isn't it? You've got to do everything. I mean, you have to take responsibility for yourself, which is fair enough. Um, we'll put the ice in there. There's no point in wasting ice, is there? Right. Here we are, Patrick Patel. I love your face. I think you look very adorable. You remind me of the lion from the Wizard of Oz. Stay safe. <laughs> he was a coward. <laughs> right. I like these little miniatures because they, they are good at giving you a chance to see what the other things are. What's I'll let you. I don't know, that smells bloody out of trees and all. It's a uh, slow gin. Those are those really bitter things, yeah. aren't they? I don't know what I think to that. June don't know what she thinks to that. That means it's um, bordering between good and bad. She thinks and she doesn't like it. No, I don't think I like it. I wouldn't drink. I'm glad they didn't make any, let's put it the, that way. It's fruity though, isn't it? Really fruity. It's nothing that like the actual a... fruit off the tree. No, it's got a... Oh, I like that. Yeah. That has got like a medicinal taste to it. And I keep saying I've got this bloody thing about medicinal taste. I drank some of it the other night and I thought it was medicinal. And I wonder if that's where something like that comes from. It's medicinal. Because it does taste like some kind of cough mixture, sore throat mixture. Do you want to show people what, right. what the thing you look like? Patrick Patel thinks BVM looks like this. You do. It's the ginger eyebrows and the blue, blue eyes. He's got a beard. He's got whiskers, a blue hat. And his ears are on the top of his head. Well, thank you. Thank you for the comment. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose it's a, an all time classic hero of a uh, cowardly lion. Anyway, um, unbelievable. And um, yes, it is a medicinal taste to me. And I'm just wondering if that's where it did come from. People, please leave your comments down below. Do you want a bit of lemonade in that, Jim? Looks like you Jean? from behind. What, saggy arse? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, I can see uh, it's... I, um, my buttocks are a little bit more firmer than that. Uh, my tail is the other side. and uh, mm -hmm. But I have got that shoulder thing, haven't I? I've got the big shoulders, so... Yeah. Yeah, you look a lot like that when they're shuffling to the bathroom. But... Five morning. Summer's yeah. morning. Anyway, let's have a bit of lemonade in this one, June. Right. Oh, was it neat then? Of course that's it was why neat. I didn't like it, you fool. Well, didn't you realise there were no bubbles in it from the lemonade? No, still don't like still that. Still not like that one. No, right. don't like that. I think it's just rhubarb gin that I like. I think it has nothing to do with gin. I think I was right in the first place. It's just rhubarb gin yeah. that I like. Uh, they do a lovely rhubarb gin up uh, the Queen's Head in Belton, and they also do a nice gin uh, in Three Crowns at Barra. Where was that place we went with your dad and... and mm. What pub was that? Oh, Pied Bull in Shepshire. Pied Bull in Shepshire, they do one as well. Oh yeah, that's where you first discovered where it, weren't it? Like one, yeah. Bing! Goldfish bowl. Right, this is a vodka drink. Mmm. And what's this? What flavour is that? Raspberry. 
as, per, as uh, Prince used to say. I might like that. She wore a raspberry beret. Kind you find in a second hand store. Raspberry beret. Like I think I love. Julie's uh, had a sip. Oh. It's gone straight up her nose. She's missed her mouth. It's gone straight up her nose. Oh, now I've got some in that. That's burning my right. nose. Uh, we've just got a little bit of lemonade left, June. Okay, we'll put that little bit of lemonade in. Do, 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 do. What's in there? I don't know. That's the blackberry one. Why are we drinking the blackberry one? Because I don't think I liked it, did I? Yeah, have a sip of that. It's got a bit of lemonade in it. That's quite nice. No, I've, mm, yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite nice, but I'll stick with the rhubarb gin. Thing. That's it. Uh, Jane's gonna stick with the rhubarb gin. I'm gonna stink there. I'm gonna stink this down my mouth. Mm. Yeah, Can I just say, folks? Right. Um, I have drank these pretty much like they're going out of fashion, and. I have got the ability to drink. That would look fabulous naked, June. Oh, shush. Um, I have got the ability to drink. It's nothing to be proud of. It's nothing to be clever or anything like that. Um, so, people, when you do see me do this, and it looks like I'm just chucking water down my throat, don't try this at home, as they say in the wrestling, and um, just be careful, right? Because... To be able to drink like this has took years and a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that you've got quite a big body mass, haven't you? Yeah, so... I, I, yeah, I'm pretty much all right. I mean, there was times when I used to go out and drink that much Guinness. I was basically full before I was even drunk. So, so I'm just saying, folks, just be careful. Don't be stupid with it. All right. Yeah, because BBM's a twat. Yeah, be able to twat to be fair. Um, right, back onto the vodka one. I quite like the raspberry vodka. I liked it neat, I liked it with the lemonade, I liked it without the ice and everything. Um, the beef eater gin. <sighs> It'll get drunk, won't it? It'll get drunk. But we won't buy it again. You're even struggling to drink that out of the bottle, aren't you? I am. It's not, it's. it's, it's it dry. leaves a real. Dry, nasty taste on you. you to be, uh, I'm not an expert beef. Uh, uh, I'm not an expert beef, beef eater. eater. Um, <laughs> I'm not an expert. You stop that, June. Um, I'm not an expert gin drinker. Um, but <sighs> folks, June's been a very naughty, naughty girl. Um, so, I can't really comment, but I don't particularly like the beef eater gin, uh, the blood orange. I, I fancy trying the um, the blackberry one. Mm. I think this blood, I think we picked the wrong one to be fair with the blood I orange. Pick, I, I picked that, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, June well, picked thought, it. That was my fault. I think it needs to be a bit more sweeter to. A bit more sweeter, a bit sweeter. Not yeah, a bit just, more sweeter. Yeah, a there's, bit there's sweeter. no sweetness in this at all, is there? I can't. It's just dry, it's just bloody horrible, to be fair. I'm gonna stop messing around. I don't like to slag prof, uh, uh, products off, but it's just not on. It's just, it's shit. It does taste of orange, but it's like that, like it's, you say, it's... It's, I know. What are we gonna do with that? I'll drink it. I will drink it, but it's just. Have we got it with the right mixer? Let's have a look. Pass the bottle. Don't say, babe. Don't say, sweetheart, about mixers. Mm. So, um, so there it is, folks. And I quite like the uh, slow gin. 
If I liked them all, to be fair, I like the I like the blackberry gin. I thought I was good. We should have got the blackberry gin, but there again, there yeah. were no points. So I got this no, one. I think it's just got a screwball um, for me. What was that other one? Then? Was that the raspberry? That was nice, wasn't it? I quite like the raspberry. Yeah, gin. you like the raspberry gin uh, that we had the other day. Um, raspberry and the rhubarb. Yeah. I think rhubarb is our favourite. I don't know why rhubarb tastes... Because oh, rhubarb itself is really yeah. sour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it does actually go, folks, with a gin. It's just... I don't know whether it's um, how they do it at the pub, um, but when you go and get a gin in the in the Three Crowns at Baron's Hall, um, it's in a massive glass, and they just put... Oh, it, it's, it's just amazing. brilliant. It just tastes brilliant. So, but I suppose that's the same all over the place, all over the country where um, the gins are like that. So, I've got to try it again. I don't know why I'm going to use that up. <sighs> You're all right in a trifle, though. It, it's just too dry. It's just, no. No. No, it's just no. So anyway, do you have this one down there? It's, it's a pretty colour, though. Mm. So there you have it folks, um, nice bit of gin, nice bit of vodka, not too keen on the um, beef eater, beef eater. and uh, that's about it really folks, uh, but like I say, please do not drink like, if you, I know I've got a lot of teenagers that watch me, drink responsible, drink responsible right, I know I've just said drink responsible, but this is, this, this is nothing to me. Vienna, hey, there's a programme to be watching, uh, Vienna Blood on BBC Two on uh, Mondays at nine o'clock, go on and check it out, and I'm also going to be reviewing, I could be doing this, can I, I could do this quite a bit, uh, upcoming episodes of BVM, a bit like so, what are you on about? Do you ever watch Soap? Soap? The comedy from America? No! It was massive in its day. I didn't watch anything from America. It was massive in its day. Who can remember soap? And the blokes used to do it. And the, the Wild Berry was the other gin. Where the bloody hell you pulled Wild that from? Wild Berry, because Jeff has got I a chicken. I have to live with this. Jeff has got a chicken called Wild Berry. Jeff who? Jeff from Bobblehead Homestead. Bobblehead Homestead, check him out on YouTube. Yes, he's got a chicken or a rooster, I'm not sure, called Wild Berry. There you go. And Jeff, you, I did know who she meant. I was just edging her on. And I thought when we picked it, oh, oh, wild berry, that's wild Jeff's berry. chicken. Jeff's chicken. Yeah. Jeff, don't choke your chicken though. You <laughs> might get that, you might not. Um, yeah, so I used to watch soap, but uh, what I might do, folks, uh, I'll give you um, what I've got plans coming to watch up. Shelley. Shelley, the bloke who played Shelley was whose brother was he? I don't know. Oh. Hugh, Hugh Bennett. Yeah, but he was, was somebody's also brother. Played the Virgin Soldiers, didn't he? Yeah, Virgin Soldiers, that's a good thing. So anyway, back onto track. Um, I'm going to start, I might start telling you people what I'm going to review. Uh, I'm actually halfway through The Irishman on Netflix. Uh, it's a film about gangsters. Uh, the superb Stephen Graham is in uh, that and uh, I'm, I might do a review on that. And uh, hopefully all being well, um, there will be an edition of For Fox Sake tomorrow. After me and Ginger have been and seen Lester V. Everton. Um, right, well, I'm not just on the ad. June's been Nortec. I'm better. Laters.